Hi there guys and welcome back to some more rebuilding the Detroit Lions. We are 13-0, 14 weeks into the season. We're just coming off our bye week and we're going up against the 8-5 Dallas Cowboys. Now they have one of the best offenses that we have played against. But they also have probably the worst defense that we've played against. So I think that we've got a very good chance of putting up some points against these guys. But yeah, we're going to do our weekly things and then get into that game. Okay, weekly strategy. You know how this is. We do the same things pretty much every week. Uh, we're going to defend the short pass. And of course, our offensive game plan is always to run inside because DeAndre Swift is our best player. That's all that done. Let's get into our week. Let's sim our weekly training, should I say? And then, yeah, that looks like that's us done. Let's get into this game and hopefully beat Dallas. They go five wide to start the game as well. Whoa! Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me, Michael Gallup breaking a tackle. If this is how this game's going to go, we've got to keep up on offense. Jesus Christ! That's without them running the ball with. Uh, the belly as well. There we go, we get to the quarterback. That's the first one that they wanted us to get. Our defensive goal is to sack the quarterback three times. And with how much we get to the quarterback anyway, I think that is definitely possible. Franklin makes the tackle. John Ross comes in for Ross Gilby. <laughs> So let's, let's go swift on the ground. There we go. Good hole. He gets eight yards on his first carry. Very nice indeed. Can't go away from what we're good at. So if we run it up the middle, we're going to get somewhere with this, aren't we? Two for 19 to start this game for Swift. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Who's that? Oh, it's Michael Parsons. Okay. He'll drop to throw. Gilby should have burnt him, and that should be a touchdown. It is. <laughs> Amari Cooper is not who we want to see get the ball. There we go, sack number two on Wuzarike gets there for the second time. Halfback dive, we're pretty much going to get four or five yards. Quite often more, like this. This could be... Well, that, that was almost broken for a, for a touchdown. Something that we haven't really done is have really explosive long runs. But Swift is very much somebody who will find holes, get 10 yards, and then, uh, then get tackled. But he's slowly starting to break tackles more. And let's face it, coming into the game... It's Gilby again, and he's in for a touchdown. That's not quite how I was expecting that to go, but we'll take it. Oof, Elliot gets a good, good run there. It's, we're in the second quarter. He's only had two carries. There we go. We get to the quarterback again. On Uzurike and Aquara there. Here's Prescott. Aquara again and Anzalone picks it off. That's another interception he had. He had one last week or the week before. This defense has just been so good and it shows why we are the number one defense in the league. Ooh, Parsons makes the tackle. Swift may have only been tackled, uh, stopped after a yard before, but he gets another. 12 there. Now back to throw. Yeah, Cephas. Oh, he could have ended up going in for a touchdown as well. Let's see what they do here. They'll set up to throw. Ah! They'll sack me. That's not ideal. Demarcus Lawrence, he's one of those players that we had to look out for. I wonder if Hilton will end up being open over the He will. There we go. Hot route Hilton to go into the end zone. And there we go. Touchdown. Why did Walker just stop? Ugh. How has this happened? Watch it. Walker just went in front of him. That shouldn't have happened. I'm going to run the double cross. We run, we run this quite a lot at the beginning of the season. 
Here's Gilby with the speed acceleration halfback angle we look we want to see Hawkinson deep really oh no that's not ideal shit that's not good at all that's my own fault for forcing that deep there we go it's Swift gets a catch that looks good for Gilby because he was impressed. Gilby goes in for the touchdown. There we go. What do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think. There we go. Swift, 10 for 95. Not a bad sh showing at all. Okay. Swift goes up the middle. It said we couldn't have it said to avoid running up the middle there, but we do it anyway, and Swift got it, gets up over 100 yards again. Swift again, finds a hole, and gets another first down. They don't look like stopping too much at all. Ooh, what's a play? Who was that? Ooh, they're switching a defense up here. Yeah, that was a bad mistake, wasn't it? Because... I would very much like Hilton to get a touchdown. Gilby seems to have most of them right now. If not all of them. There we go. Hilton gets the catch, but he won't get into the end zone. Why should we stop when this high-powered offense that the Cowboys have? Wow. Okay, Gilby catches the ball again. Five passing touchdowns now. They need any spark at this point. Akuda, oh. just as the uh, as the D line would get into Prescott, he makes that pass. Very good pass. You know that as soon as one of our D line gets there, that's going to be it. You know, like he's also probably the first hundred yard runner since uh, sorry hundred yard rusher against us since uh, what's his name uh, Dalvin Cook in like week two. Oh, good hit from Anzalone. I feel like they're going to run it up the middle. They do, and it's Pollard who gets there and gets the first out. Well, we do get there. Do we actually stop him from getting the first? We did. Nice. All right, third and one. Big play here. Do we stop them? No, we do not. <laughs> Shit. They're going to run it up the gut here. Yes, they are. Oof. Ooh, Michael Gallup gets this touchdown. Okay, we've got to kind of allow for this. As I said, they're the best team that we played offensively. Yes, man. There's Gilby. I know we shouldn't keep hitting him, but he definitely seems like a bit of a cheat code in terms of how... Uh, how fast and how good his roots are for such a low overall player. I feel like we could, uh, well, we could run a lot of this clock out. There we go, Swift. Who's number 18? But either way, Swift averaging around seven yards a carry right now. It's third down. Oh, I think we've we've got Hilton there. Touchdown number six for Brown. Touchdown number two for Hilton. His eighth from the year. You love to see it. Jesus. Elliot is just so strong. I don't understand it. We really haven't done well against Dallas in terms of their offense, but their defense, luckily, is so poor that it didn't really matter. Or hasn't really mattered, should I say. He still threw it to, to Lamb, even though he had two players around him. Okay. From the 35 on second down, Prescott, he'll get this to Elliott. There we go. Omri Zurike manages to make the tackle there. We don't often concede 20 points in a game, so it'd be nice to... They have pride too on that side of the ball. Why? Why is Elliott so good at breaking tackles? 
as I say, we don't often see 20 points, so we don't want to do that here, but ultimately, it's something that could happen. What is this? Alright, I don't understand why the players that are meant to be out in the flats or in the corners even though I've set them to outside, I never there. There we go. That ends the game. Swift ends on 150 yards as normal. Brown threw six touchdowns, four to Gilby, two to Hilton. Puts up 311 yards as well. Just two incompletions on the day. We are 14-0 after that win against Dallas, and obviously although their offense had a decent game against us, their defense was terrible. We have weekly awards to look at. It is Brown again, 15 of 17, 311 yards, 6 touchdowns, and a pick. You'll love to see it. Let's go into a team meeting. Team meeting for our re rivalry rematch. Let's go, fellas. They're looking to be they're going to be looking for revenge, so let's stay focused. Play the way we're capable of, and once again, take care of a business. No need to try and do too much out there, guys. We know what it takes to beat them. We did it once. Time to do it again. Let's get that sweet, boys. Nice. The Packers have had this game marked on the calendars. Their players will have plus five break tackle and plus five play recognition for this week's game. Okay, but it's time to uh, get into this game against the Packers and see if we can blow them out once more. Okay, we'll do the usual. We'll start on the ground with Swift. They've left a big gap open in the middle there. Let's hope we can uh, well, we get some yards. We're just running behind our offensive. Swift may have just... Swift might just go. Oh, we just somehow glitched our way through. For a first, not only for a first down, but for the longest run of our season. 75 yards. As he's just running behind Morrison. Morrison opening holes and then suddenly Swift is able to get through and go all the way for a touchdown. Oh, we're going to run it inside with Swift. After the last, the last one, I thought he was going to do it again. But two rushes for 86 yards to start this game. Okay. There's Gilby. We're always going to make sure that Gilby gets catches. We go back with the run inside. Uh, Cephas almost sprung us. Swift gets the catch and the first down. Round two of three to 22 yards. Not a bad start. We need to get him to 4,000 yards on the season. That's... Gilby with a clear block in the back there, but what? <laughs> Absolutely sent him. Okay. <laughs> Gilby with the touchdown. There we go. Interesting that they uh, opted to throw to him regardless. Is that still a first down? Possibly. No, we stop him. Fourth and inches. Good block. Who was that? 58. Sewell just smashing that guy out of the way. I feel like we can definitely get the, the first down here. As a, at least. Swift gets the first down. We're going to look to hit Hilton. Because I think they're going to key in on us trying to hit Gilby a lot. As Hilton gets the first down. It's Hilton again. Now this is Hilton on the receiving end. Receives it. And gets down to the 16. Okay, I want to get Hawkinson some more yards because I feel like he hasn't really had a massive season. He obviously was injured for a few weeks as well. He gets 11 yards there. Do love to see it. Okay, this could be Bryant in the end zone here. Or Jackson. He gets enough for the first down. Oh, we're just going to run it in with Brown. Screw it. There we go. We can't expect to, to stop people after three plays every drive. There we go. It's a sack. Who's that? Omu Zarike. Throwing on second and long. Love. 
So Quara that time gets there another sack. Get some more sacks. What? How is he? Oh, mate. There we go. Who's that? Obu Zurike getting in again. <clears throat> Kick is good. Swift makes the catch. And Gilby just throws the guy to the ground. He's like, yeah, no, nah, you, you ain't going anywhere here. Okay. Swift again. We will continue to run this play until they give us the read that we want, which is Hawkinson deep down the middle. And they've given it to us. Hawkinson, shh. If he doesn't go for the touchdown, we'll get a long way down. Okay. That will run outside. It's a good. It's a good block from Hilton as well. We're going to take a timeout. Go for a, a second rushing touchdown. There we go. What's the flag for? Better be holding. Oh, shut up. 60 yarder they're going to be attempting. Oh, I thought it was good for a second. He's unlucky. Oh, good hit. Who is that? Walker coming down. We can't allow them to get any rushing yards. It's the one thing that we know that we can't, that we can stop, generally, unless it's against the uh, Cowboys, apparently. Yes, and gets there. I think it's all four of our main defensive linemen that have got there. We're going to run it play action because obviously they know we... They know that we're going to be running the ball up the middle quite a lot. Hilton with another catch. He seems to be our go-to guy this game. Brown finds Gilby. Tries to do the hurdle but it isn't to be. What's the shot downfield? It's just a, a cross, really. Swift with the run up the middle. Almost was able to uh, to get there. And there's Hilton. His 700th career catch ends in a touchdown. We love to see it. Romeo Aquara and Levi Omu Zurike get there. We love to see it. To try again after the sack. Love. He finds his man complete. That's Cobb. And he'll get it out near the foot. So Love might be 9 of 10 for 107 yards, but they haven't been going anywhere. We haven't forced a turnover, but we have stopped them getting too many yards. Love from the gun. Looking downfield for Jones. What? That's a joke. I said swap. They need to make up some ground, and they did. There's Hilton again. Gets the catch. There's Swift with a great catch. Gilby makes a massive block. Swift beats a man and gets down to the 16-yard line again. Swift on the ground again. There we go. Over pursuit by the defender. Swift chucks a man and down to the three. 12 for 153 for Swift today. Play action. Oh shit. Wow, they sent everybody. Was not expecting that. <laughs> There's Hawkinson. He's going to get a touchdown. He'd love to see it. That's a fumble. Aquara gets the recovery and we take over on the six yard line. Okay, well, we're going to go on the ground with Swift, see if he can fight his way into the end zone. He can't. There's Hilton again, gets the touchdown. There's a flag. It's a touchdown right now. Could be roughing the passer. Working at it. 
even though this one feels like a lost cause. Gotcha, bitch! Oh, Wu Zarike gets there again. Okay, play action. There's Gilby with the catch, and it continues the drive. This emphasized that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understands. Right, makes the catch. Brown goes over 300 yards for the second game in a row. So good, yeah, I thought Swift cutting it back was going to work there, but it wasn't to be. There we go. 52 to 10. Go to our usual cover three look. I mean, we, we play, we run some other plays sometimes as well, but cover three is definitely my favourite uh, coverage because you get a bit of get a bit of everything. Really. The Quara brothers get there. This is what happens with with this defense. Once once we get our tails up, that's it. Yeah, after the quarterback all the time. That's it. Okay, so we can discuss the result of the game with the team. T.Y. Hilton, one win was sweet, but two feels even better. They brought their best, and it still wasn't enough. Damn right, T.Y. That was a great job all round. You can see how demoralized they were knowing that even with two chances, they still couldn't beat you guys. Damn right, we have got a hell of a team. We've developed a hell of a team. Sweeping the Packers has, has the team fired up, plus 15 morale for all players. You love to see it. Okay, so that is it for this episode of Rebuilding the Detroit Lions. We go 15-0. We have the New England Patriots next and the Jacksonville Jaguars, but they are both for the next episode, which will be the last one of the regular season, which is great. We look to go 17-0, of course. But yeah, as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more, the, uh, including more of my... Uh, Detroit Lions rebuild then please subscribe and I will see you next time